Hello and welcome to Skamashi Tech, where we review anything and everything in short and informative videos. And in this episode we take a look at the Samsung Portable SSD, the T5 model with 500GB, capable for Windows, Mac and Android. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this episode, as I mentioned in the start, we take a look at the portable SSD, the T5 model from Samsung. In this case, it is the 500 gigabyte version. And you might have seen the thumbnail, which says uh, basically <laughs> the best Tesla SSD. And that's really because that is what I use it for. And with past experience, I can, I can tell that this is definitely suited to use as a dash cam and sentry footage SSD for a Tesla, but also any other car or your computer, of course, or your laptop to expand your storage. These SSDs are available with up to two terabytes. I have the big brother from it with two terabytes since two years. Back then it was very, very expensive because these models just came out. There is now a newer model, it's called the T7, but for the purpose, I use it here, which is basically in my car to record dash cam and sentry footage. Uh, there is no need for the newer model and there's also no need for a higher capacity. There was actually a 250 gigabyte model, which is not available anymore, which would have been enough for the purpose I use it. Nonetheless, these ones are fairly cheap. Now you get this portable T5 SSD basically for 69 pounds currently on uh, the Samsung UK or the, the Amazon store and it is way fast enough for most uh, things you do on your computer or uh, if you use it in any car or for whatever you will use it. So let's take a quick look what is actually in the box. Uh, it is still sealed so we need to cut it open. We have the SSD itself. Then we have uh, a huge amount of waste of paper, which nowadays is not really needed anymore. And like unlike many other brands, they actually supply cables. They supply USB A to USB C, and they supply USB C to USB C, which is what I use. So here we have the SSD. As you can see on my hand, it is really really tiny. It has a very uh, narrow. It's very thin. On the back, Samsung Portable SSD. Here is the USB-C port. The, uh, you can only connect USB-C here. That's why you get two cables, either USB-C to USB-A. If you only have a USB-A on your laptop or your computer, it's USB-3 or 3.1 actually. And then you have USB-C to USB-C, which is what I use because my car has a USB-C port. So I will use uh, a USB-C to USB-C cable, but not the supplied ones. I will use actually this one because I need a short cable to actually uh, connect it where I want to connect it in the car and then to mount it to the car. So because I labeled this video as perfect for Tesla, why is it perfect for a Tesla? First of all, you can connect a very short cable into your USB port. If you still have USB-A ports, you need to have a cable USB-C to USB-A, like for example this one, very short. You can just come connect it here and you connect it to your car. The other thing is it is very small, very lightweight. And as I said, I have the big brother. I throw the big brother around. Uh, I don't know how, how often it fell down because these things are very small and very light. Uh, you put them somewhere and they fall down and it still is going strong. There is no mechanical parts in it. They are moving so you basically can can drop it and nothing will happen really unless the chip would basically uh, the soldering get. Then the other reason why I use it is because it is really really fast for an external SSD. The new T7 model is a bit faster but for most applications on your computer where you copy files and things like that uh, it is definitely faster than your USB ports so there's no uh, no need for the T7. Uh, and it also, for if you use it in a car or, or similar applications, it is definitely more than fast enough. And one of the main reasons why I bought uh, a second one, a smaller one, 
and decided to put it in the car instead of a USB stick or something like that. Uh, you can record more footage on it and having more dashcam footage is also good if you, always good if you want to look back. And you can simply install that uh, on your Velcro in the car. Most cars have somewhere Velcro near an USB port. And then you just need something like this. This is kind of like a Velcro where you usually can uh, uh, put cables together, similar like this one here, what we see here. And this will also stick on your car without problem. You just mount it here. It's a bit too long, I need to cut it to the length. You just mount it here and uh, connect the USB and then press it against the Velcro in your car and it will usually stay there without any problem. Uh, but you don't need to, you can just, as I said, connect it, connect it to your car and leave it just laying flat down somewhere. Even if it moves around, if it gets shaken around when you drive, it will not do anything harmful to the SSD itself. And if you need the footage, you don't need to fiddle around with USB sticks or copy it somehow. You just disconnect the SSD, bring it inside, connect it to your computer, copy the files and you're done. And I will put up some speed tests now so you can see how fast the SSD actually is. If you want to use it for a computer, so you have a comparison, but you can also look them, uh, look them up online. These uh, SSDs are extensi extensively tested. Okay, you have seen now the speed tests and you have seen now how to easily install that into the car. Uh, that's basically all I can show you. This device is a very simple device, very plug and play, nothing to worry about it. And I only can highly recommend it. As I said, I have the big brother for over two years with two terabytes. It was very expensive back then. This one is now 69 pounds on Amazon. Uh, same is on the, on the Samsung UK store. If you buy it somewhere else, you might even find it cheaper. And I can highly recommend these SSDs from Samsung. They are working brilliantly. They are working reliable. As I said, we have the big brother since two years and it works reliable like a workhouse day in, day out without problem and with actually a lot of getting use. So definitely a high recommendation, especially if you, for example, want to use this in the Tesla for dashcam and video footage. I hope this video gives you a little insight and helped you. And if so, let me know in the comments below. And I see you in the next one. Have a great day.